some people simply will not or cannot contract COVID-19. Who are they and why? Well, this is another a very interesting area because lots of, lots of people are asking this question now because they're taking samples, say, from people who never got infected who should have. Uh, there's a big study happening, in fact, you love this, with couples, say, a couple who live together, one gets infected, the doesn't, and they're together. You know, what's the difference there genetically? There may be some difference. So there's thousands and thousands of people being analysed for this to see if someone is resistant, basically. Another great one, but is they're looking at centenarians. It turns out there's a set of people over 100 who got infected and didn't get sick. Now, isn't that a very interesting group? Because they should be at high risk. Mm because they're older. There's a 114-year-old woman in Brazil, for example, who was infected. They're looking at her DNA. They're wondering, how could that woman survive, you see? So they're digging into the genetics of this to see why are some people resistant. Now, we know with other infectious diseases, there is resistance. And then the great example was AIDS. There were people who were completely resistant to AIDS, never caught it, even though they were in a high-risk group, and they found a mutation in those people in a specific protein that the virus needed to get inside your cells. And it was broken in those people, you know, and then the virus couldn't get in. It's called CCR5, yeah. you see. So, again, they're looking for this now in, in, in COVID, and a lot of work. I mean, you wouldn't believe there's sam- ten, hundreds of thousands of samples being assessed the whole time. Uh, one option, Pat, that came up was the blood group. Remember this? The O group may yeah. give protection. That seems to be more evidence for this now. That's not definitive yet, but you may have a certain blood group and that might make you resistant or less prone to disease. So it's a really active area. Yeah, the, the, this uh, HIV work started with a young man when he was young when the HIV epidemic started. Stephen Crone yeah. was his name, as in Crohn's disease, but nothing connected with him. And uh, he was in a high risk group. All his pals were dying. And That's he was right. saying, what's happening? Because yeah. they didn't know what was killing them in those days. They didn't know. And a guy called Bill Paxton, who I know, he, he was the immunologist who discovered that that guy had this mutation in a thing called CCR5, which made him resistant, you see. And then, of course, the drug companies began developing things that could block that and other people. And that works, that stops the virus getting in. And a new drug came out of that study, really. So, so the benefit of this is if you can find someone who's resistant and get that into everybody, it'll make them less likely to be infected. That's why it's important, mm-hmm. these kinds of studies. Okay, what about the flip side of that? People who get inexplicably sick when, you know, they're infected by COVID-19 and they're just far sicker than they should be for their age and circumstance. Yeah, that, that was the second cohort, if you like. So, so in other words, they took loads of people with severe disease, under 50, so if younger people, and why are those people getting really sick? And again, it could be all kinds of reasons. It can be just your bad luck. It can be picking up a high dose of the virus, say. But having drilled into it, 3.5% of them now can't make enough what's called interferons. Now interferons are a very important part of your immune system. They're very good at killing viruses and 3.5% of those severe cases couldn't make enough and that, that was the reason why that number of people were getting infected, you know. Another group they found a protein in your lungs that promotes inflammation was overactive and that was causing more damage then, you know. So there'll probably be multiple reasons. It won't be just one big reason, you know. But again, they're, they're, they're drilling into this now trying to find out why are some people especially affected. And the interferon one was good, Pat, because they can give people interferon, you see. So if someone is in that category, you can give them a shot of interferon and then they won't get as sick. So that, that's another reason why these, these studies are so important. Yeah. Now, uh, people are asking about that variant of uh, interest, the Mu variant. What's the latest? Pat, I'm very disappointed. I thought you knew Greek letters. It's Mu. It's pronounced Mu because it's a Greek letter. Yeah, you think it will be Mu the way you look at it. But, uh, yeah, when they're spelling it M, it, it, I'm familiar with the symbol. That's right. That's a problem. I'm not, I'm not blaming you. It's a, it's a national mistake to make, but the correct pronunciation happens to be Mu. Yes, this is the new, this is the variant of interest. It's the latest one that the WHO have designated. Now, it's, it's significant in that it's the next one after Delta really that they're looking at closely Um, uh, but still we don't know yet basically it's it's got changes that are different to Delta Uh, some are shared and some are different it's got new changes basically so of course they're looking at it but it's not a variant of concern yet they haven't gone from variant of interest to variant of concern which is what Delta is so but it's another one they're examining It, it began in Colombia is the first time it gets reported. It's now in 40 countries. They're following it very closely, basically, just trying to see what happens. It could be more transmissible. What they look at is, is it it, it more transmissible, like Delta? Can it dodge antibodies? Now, there was a study in a Paris lab already, actually, saying that antibodies still work against it to some extent. That was a good one, you know, so so therefore that was Mm. on the side of not, and don't be worried at the moment. But the trouble is, it is there, it's different, and, and they're now monitoring it.